hi viewers in this video we will see how to update your samsung galaxy double five one phones to european firmware update of xwkd4 foyo 2.2 version so you need to ensure that the same procedure will be applicable for the asian users but the name of the firmware is dubbed as ddjk4 and the remaining procedure is same as i explained to you now so as of now we'll f we'll move further and see how to update your samsung galaxy double five one phones to european version of xwkd4 remember one point that wherever i refer to the term xwkd4 of european version asian users has to note it down as ddjk4 froyo 2.2 version so to move further see we have divided this whole article into few pages so that every user can easily understand the instructions and the actual procedure to update your phones to european xwkd4 version most of the users get confused with the stock rom and custom rom so in this note we have mentioned it clearly and it shows the difference between the custom rom and the stock rom you can read this in this box given so to move further in the second page we will see the instructions to be followed before updating to xwkd4 european firmware the first and most important point here to consider is the backing up of your data once you finish with the firmware update any firmware update then the data on the phone will be erased so in order to avoid that we have given you the few methods here you can look at this you can back up and store all your messages and contacts using the link provided here whenever you click on the link you will get a tutorial here see app to backup android phone contacts logs so first of all you need to back up your data using this process and you can back up and store all your music files pictures videos on the external sd card directly so another point to consider here is noting down of your apn and mms settings because most of the users ignore this step and as a result of this they cannot access to internet services and mms services after the updation process so you have to ensure that you got a you got a note of this apn and mms settings you can use this path to note down this apn and mms settings so the here we go with a few more instructions you can see it here the phone's battery charge should be more than 90 percent and uh, you should have windows vista or windows 7 xp on your pc or laptop to proceed further so in the next page we will see the actual procedure and steps to update your samsung galaxy i5510 to xwkd4 european version so first of all you need to download this zip file we have given here clearly so when you click here you are able to download the file as soon as you download the file extract the files so in the process of extraction you will be prompted to enter the password to extract the file so use this androidadvices.com as a password and extract all the files so this is the extracted file so you need to ensure that all these files are there in your computer as soon as you finish with the extraction so this is the odin tool you must have you should have this and here important readme text we have embedded this notepad into your computer because it will explain you the clear procedure on how to update this and it contains like uh, password androidadvices.com and for that instructions you can look into this and next once you got all these files into your computer open this odin file and uh, you can see this one odin multi downloader for android so it will look like this we have given the screenshot here okay so once you open this file on your computer turn off your mobile why because you have to now turn it on again into the downloading mode so how to turn 
your phone into downloading mode we have given here a video tutorial and uh, you can also do it directly by pressing volume down key and ok button along with the power button simultaneously once you are done with that your phone will be in the downloading mode or else you can refer to this uh, video tutorial so once your phone is in downloading mode just connect your phone to the pc using the usb cable so once you're done with that the block here will be turning into yellow color so which indicates that all the necessary drivers have been installed in the computer successfully so once you make sure this then we move further so here now select all the files i will show you how to select see select ops file and select this file which is already there in our computer next you will be going to boot file you have to select the bootloader from the extracted files then phones you, here you can see mms phone tar file next go on with the pdf file and select as pdf file next select the csc file so once these files are selected as shown in this click on the start button to initiate the process of updating your firmware so this may take few minutes so you have to ensure that you should not disturb the process in the middle or else you have to follow the same procedure again from the beginning so once the process is completed your phone will restart automatically so that indicates that the process of firmware update has completed successfully so now as soon as the firmware update is completed you need to turn off your phone again and on it again to the recovery mode so how to enter into the recovery mode here is a video tutorial you can see and uh, by manually you can enter to enter into the downloading mode just press volume up key on your phone and ok button along with the power button simultaneously then your phone will be into the recovery mode so why should we get your phone into the recovery mode so here you can see once your phone is in recovery mode just select the options like wipe data factory reset and wipe catchy partition and delete all the catchy files why to do this because in the process of firmware update some of the catchy files will be generated in your phone to damage the applications in the phone so in order to avoid those we have to clear all the catchy files on the phone so once the catchy files are deleted just reboot your phone using the option reboot system now and again you need to select the language preferences and google account preferences that's it now your samsung galaxy double pi 10 will be updated to xwkd4 froyo 2.2 version for the european users and the asian users will get the phone updated to ddjk4 froyo 2.2 version so if you have any comments or queries you can ask under the comment section we have provided here so that's all for now thank you